Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you the best features of the Samsung Galaxy A71. By the way guys, I've already made a dedicated video for the tips and tricks section where I talked about many things which I won't be covering in this video. So definitely check out that video, link will be in the description. Now with that said, the most highlighting feature about this phone is definitely its display. This phone sports a massive 6.7 inch Super AMOLED Plus display with Full HD Plus resolution with a punch hole design, 20 to 9 aspect ratio and it's also protected by a 2.5D curved Corning Gorilla Glass 3. As it's an AMOLED display, colors definitely look a bit saturated but brightness levels are great and overall display is really good. Next best thing about this phone is definitely performance. This phone sports a Snapdragon 730 processor with Adreno 618 GPU. These are the benchmark scores. In terms of performance, it really can't be compared to flagships or other phones, well other online exclusive phones in this price segment, but for a Samsung phone, it's pretty good I would say. Next best thing about this phone would be fast charging speeds. This phone comes with a 25 watt fast charger inside the box and it can charge your phone pretty quickly. This phone also has a massive 4500 mAh battery, so even the battery life of this phone is pretty good. Next, this phone also has an in-display fingerprint scanner and it works pretty well. Well, not as fast as OnePlus, Oppo, Vivo phones, but it still works pretty well. It is super fast when the display is on. Next, we also have the face lock feature, which in my opinion works faster than fingerprint scanner. Well, it's definitely not as reliable as the fingerprint scanner, but it is definitely faster. Next, we have a feature called edge lighting. So once you enable this feature, top area near the front camera lights up and displays the new notifications. You can change the lighting effects and the lighting colors. And about that notification, you can touch it to open it in a full size application. You can swipe the notification to the sides to dismiss it. And finally, you can swipe it down to open the notification app in a pop-up window. This is kind of a unique feature on this phone. Next, we have edge panel. Now, once you enable this feature, you will see a white bar on the side and you can swipe it to bring out a panel with quick shortcuts. Samsung offers a lot of different edge panels ranging from app shortcuts, people edge, task edge, weather info, reminders and many more. Next, this phone also comes with some pretty good cameras. On the rear, it has a quad camera setup with a 64 megapixel primary camera and for selfies, it has a 32 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture. These are some sample shots. Next we have super stable mode. Now this is a brand new feature from Samsung which super stabilizes the footage from the rear camera. And here's a quick sample. Next we have AR Doodle. This feature allows you to draw something on your screen and convert it into AR objects. You can use this feature with both the front and rear cameras and you can really get some creative results with that. Next we have a feature called Link to Windows which allows you to link your Samsung phone to an application on Windows PC from where you can manage some aspects of your phone. Next we have the brand new navigation gestures. Once you enable this feature, you can swipe from the bottom of the screen to go home, swipe and hold for recent apps and you can swipe from the left side or right side of the screen to go back a step. And you can also swipe left or right on the bottom bar to quickly switch between applications. And for Google Assistant, you can swipe from the bottom left corner or bottom right corner and it triggers Google Assistant. These gestures work really well and gives you a very immersive experience. Next, this phone also comes with a wide angle camera on the rear. These are some sample shots. Next we have live focus mode. This is another fancy name for rear camera portrait mode on Samsung phones. Unlike on other phones, on this phone, you can actually change the amount of background blur effect you want before taking a picture. These are some sample shots. Next we have spinning background. Now just like the name suggests, it will give you a spinning effect in the background of a portrait shot. You can also edit the intensity of the spin using the slider below. Next we have zoom background. Just like the spin effect using this feature, you get a zoom effect. And once again you can change the intensity using the slider below. Next we have color point. Now once you enable this feature, subject is in color and the background is in black and white, you get a pretty cool looking effect. 
Even this feature works only on portrait shots and there needs to be a sufficient distance between the subject and the background. Next we have Life Focus for Selfie. Now this is another fancy name by Samsung for Portrait Selfie. Using this feature you can take portrait selfies and on this phone, you can also change the amount of background blur effect you want before taking a picture. These are some sample shots. Next we have Wide Angle Selfie. Now the front camera on this phone has a wide angle lens but by default it crops it to give you a regular size selfie. If you want a much wider selfie, you can get it with just a click of a button. These are the sample shots. Next we have AR Emoji which is Samsung's version of Apple's Animoji. First you need to create AR Emoji by taking a picture of yourself. Then you can customize it according to your preference. You can change the skin tone, hairstyle, beard style. You can literally change everything about the emoji. Then you can take pictures of your emoji making weird expressions. You can also stick the emoji to your face like a sticker and then take pictures. You can also share your custom emoji with anyone anywhere directly from the Samsung keyboard app. Next we have AR stickers. Using this feature, you can put different kind of stickers to your face in real time and then take pictures with it. It's a pretty cool feature and the amount of stickers you have depends on the phone you're using. Next this phone also offers electronic image stabilization while recording video. Here's the sample footage. Next this phone also supports super slow motion video recording. Next we have slow motion video recording where we have more control over the duration. Next we have hyperlapse which is just a Samsung name for time lapse. Next we have scene optimizer. It's like AI mode for Samsung phones. It is enabled by default all the time and you can disable it very easily by a click of a button. This feature intelligently detects the scene and optimizes each shot to give you picture perfect composition. These are some sample shots. Next we have Bixby Vision which is just like Google Lens with some additional features. It can do a regular image search, it can extract text, it can search for products online, translate other languages and has support for compatible apps like Amazon Assistant, Adobe Scan and many more. This is a unique feature currently available only on the Samsung phones. Now going on next you also get an NFC on this phone which can be really useful for pairing new Bluetooth devices and simply connecting to them faster. It's not a big deal but very few phones offer it and that makes it a big deal. Next we have always on display and just like the name suggests once you enable this feature display of your phone is always on even when you lock your phone. It will display time, date and notification icons. You can keep it always on or turn it on only at a specific time. You can double tap the notification icon to open it, double tap on the clock to go through different face widgets. You can even control the music player from the always on display. You can also change the clock style, add new widgets and customize it more. As this phone comes with an AMOLED display, it won't affect the battery life and you get a very cool look. Next we have split screen mode. To open any application in split screen mode, you need to first open that application, go to the recent apps page, click on the app icon and select open in split screen. Then that application will open in a split screen and you can select the secondary application from your recent apps or you can go to the home screen and select the secondary application from there. You can find this feature on all Android phones and this is how you can use it on this phone. Next we have pop-up view which opens an application in a floating window. Opening an app in pop-up view is similar to split screen mode. Once you open an application in a pop-up view, you can change its transparency, make it a bit transparent. You can minimize it to a floating bubble just like Facebook chat heads, maximize it or even close it. I would recommend you not to use this feature as it is resource intensive. Next we have smart pop-up view. This feature allows you to open applications in a pop-up view every time you get a notification from that application. First you need to enable this feature for the desired application. Once again it's better not to use this feature. Next we have night mode. This is one of my favorite features on this phone. 
Once you enable it, most of the UI elements change color from light to dark or black. You can just turn it on from the notification toggles or schedule it to turn on and turn off automatically at a specific time. Using this mode strains your eyes less at night, saves battery and definitely looks pretty cool because of the AMOLED display. Now going on next, we can even hide that notch. Now once you enable this feature, area beside the notch is completely blacked out. Status bar is moved below. Because of the AMOLED display, you won't even see the notch. Now going on next, we have palm swipe to capture. Now before I show you what this feature does, let me show you how to take a normal screenshot. For that, simply press the volume down and power button both at the same time. Once you do that, your phone will take a screenshot. Now for some reason, if you're not able to do that and want an easy way, you can enable this feature called palm swipe to capture. Once you enable this feature, you can simply swipe the display of your phone with your palm left or right to take a screenshot. Sometimes it doesn't work, but most of the time it works without any problems. Next we have smart alert. Once you enable this feature, every time you pick up your phone, your phone will vibrate if you have a missed call or a message. Next we have easy mute. Once you enable this feature, you can easily mute incoming calls or alarms by placing your hand on your phone or by turning your phone face down. Next we have one handed mode. Now once you enable this feature and swipe from the bottom left or right corner of the screen, screen size will shrink, your phone will become much more usable with a single hand. Once you are in this mode, you can click the arrow button to switch the screen left side or right side and click in an empty area to go full screen. Next we have accidental touch prevention, which is just a fancy name from Samsung for pocket mode. Once you enable this feature, it will prevent accidental touches in closed spaces like pockets and bags. Next we have lift to wake. Now this feature is self-explanatory. Once you enable this feature, you can simply lift your phone to wake it up. This can be quite useful if you're using face unlock feature. You just need to raise your phone, it'll see your face and then unlock your phone. Next we have double tap to wake. Once again, even this feature is self-explanatory. You can double tap the screen to wake it up. So once you enable this feature, just lock your phone and double tap the screen. It wakes up the screen and if you're using face unlock, once again, it sees your face and unlocks the phone immediately. Next, we have Smart Stay. Once you enable this feature, your phone's display will stay on as long as you're using it. This is a really useful feature for people who read a lot on your phone. Let's say you're reading an article or a book on your phone, then the display won't turn off at screen timeout. Next, we have Smart Capture. Now, this is a very common feature found on many other phones, but this feature is only available on the high-end phones on Samsung. Now once you enable this feature, every time you take a screenshot, you get additional options to take a longer screenshot or edit a screenshot before saving it. Just in case if you can't find this feature on your phone, make sure you have smart capture option in additional settings. Next we have digital well-being. Now this is actually a feature from Google, so it should be on all the Android phones. Now this feature will record all your activity on your phone, like how long you're using your phone, which apps you're using a lot, and how many times you have opened a particular application. So this feature gives you all that information, and you can see which apps you open frequently, and which apps you're addicted to. You can also restrict app usage by using this feature. Next we have Wind Down. Now this feature is built into the digital well-being application, but it has its own unique features. Now this feature wind down will help you sleep quickly at night. You can turn it on manually or schedule it to automatically turn on at a specific time. Once you set it up and it's turned on, it changes the screen to grayscale, that's black and white, and blocks notification. It can also turn on do not disturb mode, so you won't be disturbed with annoying notifications. Next we have flash notifications. Once you enable this feature, every time you get a notification or a call, flashlight blinks to give you a visual indication. It's good when you need it, but it can be quite annoying. Next we have auto call recording. Now this feature allows you to record calls automatically on your phone, whether you get a call or make a call. You can enable this feature from the phone dialer settings. Next we have blue light filter. Now just like the name suggests, once you enable this feature, it puts a warm tint on the screen and filters the blue light, which is supposed to help you sleep better at night. We can also change the intensity of the filter using the slider. We can also schedule it to turn on and turn off automatically at a specific time. Now going on next, we have the option to change the font on this phone. Usually most Android phones don't give you this option, 
but on this phone you can change the font by default you get three different fonts and if you're not happy with them you can download more from the samsung store next we have easy mode now if this phone is going to be used by some elderly people then you can enable easy mode for them now once you enable this feature everything on your phone will be enlarged all the app icons on the home screen and app draw increase in size even the text size gets scaled up to make it more visible for elderly people next we have game launcher now once you enable this feature it will create a folder called game launcher on your home screen and you can keep all your games in that folder now from this interface you can change your performance mode you can set it to balanced power saver or even high performance so once you set up your power profile every time you open a game your phone will automatically switch to that power profile beside that we also get the option to mute sound for all games at once now that's not all once you open any game that's listed in the game launcher you'll see extra buttons on the navigation bar one button at the top to lock the screen and another button at the bottom for extra options once you click it you get additional options for do not disturb mode blocking calls taking a screenshot recording video and lot more crazy stuff like that now going on next we have swipe to call or send message once you enable this feature in the default phone dialer application you can simply swipe left or right on a contact or a call log to make a call or send a message it's not a great feature but a very nice shortcut that's available only on the samsung phones next we have dual messenger which is like dual apps for samsung using this feature you can have two snapchat accounts two facebook accounts or even two whatsapp accounts on the same phone now this feature might seem awesome but it only works with few applications like if you want to use two paytm accounts on the same phone you can't do it using this feature with that said if you really want to do it like if you want two paytm accounts on the same samsung phone you can try using secure folder feature in your default phone dialer we have a feature called caller id and spam protection and it just does what it says every time you get a call from any unknown number it tries to trace it give you a name and will try to intimate you if it is a spam call i'll definitely recommend you to use this feature now the next best feature on this phone is the secure folder now this feature has a simple name called secure folder but offers you a lot of things for starters you can hide files in it you can create your secure notes you can even drag and drop applications into this folder and use them as dual applications and if you have any application with security as priority like net banking applications you can put all those applications in the secure folder and make them more secure it is basically like a secure box inside your phone where you can hide files and keep applications safer now this is an awesome feature but it is very resource intensive so if you don't have a high end samsung phone i will not recommend you to use this feature instead try third party applications now going on next this phone also has dolby atmos sound enhancement you can enable it by using the toggles or by going to the sound settings once you enable it you have different sound profiles like auto movies music and voice and depending upon the sound profile you will get different audio experience right now this feature is only available if you are using a headset now going on next this phone even comes with samsung themes or just the themes you literally have hundreds of themes to choose from both free and paid and you can completely change the look and feel of your phone starting from wallpapers to ui elements to app icons it literally changes everything now going on next we have maximum power saving mode on previous samsung phones it was called as ultra power saving mode and once you enable this feature it will decrease the screen brightness set speed limiter restrict background network usage limit the number of apps that you can use and apply a dark theme on the whole it does all these things to improve the standby time of your phone now even in this mode you can still use wi-fi bluetooth and mobile data and use some regular applications like youtube facebook and even use the camera application if you are on a very long journey just enable this mode and you can have great battery life now going on next we can also increase the touch sensitivity of the display now most of the time if you add a screen guard or a tempered glass to your display touch sensitivity might go down in that case you can use this feature next we have kids mode you can access it from the notification toggles now the first time you try to open it it might try to download a brand new application but once everything is set and done this is the user interface that you get using parental controls you can set daily play time you can also check out the daily usage of your kid you can check out their complete activity you can restrict the number of apps that they can use contacts they can see and music they can listen to it completely transforms your phone into a brand new phone which is safe for your kid to use next we have bixby routines 
These are all automated tasks that can be configured to have the best user experience. For example, you can configure your phone such that it automatically turn off mobile data and turn on Wi-Fi once you reach your home or office and do stuff like that. It is just an automation application that is built into the phone. Next, we have Wake Up Bixby with the power button. Now, once you enable this feature from the advanced settings, you can simply press and hold the power button to trigger Bixby. Once it is triggered, you can ask your question and it'll give you an answer. Unlike other phones, you need to press and hold the power button until you complete your question. Now, going on next, this phone also comes with a dedicated SD card slot. If the internal storage is not sufficient for you, you can always add in an SD card and expand the storage. It's not a big deal, but if you need extra storage, that dedicated SD card slot will come in handy. Now going on next, we can also reduce animations on this phone. Now for some reason, if you want to reduce animations and by reducing the CPU load, then you can do it on this phone by just disabling this toggle. Even if you reduce animations, there are still some animations going on. And for some reason, if you want to completely remove animations, you can do it from the accessibility settings. Personally, I'll stick with animations even at a cost of performance and battery life. Now going on next, we can also disable fast charging. Now this phone, as you might have already known, comes with fast charging, supports fast charging and comes with a fast charger inside the box. But for some reason, maybe for a prank or something else, if you want to disable fast charging, you can do it from the battery settings. Now going on next, this phone also has Widevine L1 support. That means you can stream high definition videos from Netflix and Amazon Prime on this phone. This is kind of a big deal if you watch a lot of video content on your phone. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video and definitely check out my video on the tips and tricks section where I'll be talking about many things which I didn't cover in this video. By the way guys, if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. And if you want us to make any specific video or if you have any questions, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.